Live from Mountain View, California, it's The Cube at OpenStack Silicon Valley, brought to you by headline sponsor, Mirantis. Here are your hosts, John Furrier and Jeff Frick. Hello, everyone. We are here live in Silicon Valley. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. We are live at the OpenStack SV, OpenStack Silicon Valley event, a new event um, really hosted and sponsored by Mirantis and the ecosystem, really to get the Silicon Valley perspective. And of course, theCUBE, Silicon Valley is here. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. Joined my co-host, Jeff Frick. Uh, Jeff is uh, heading up the Cube Silicon Valley operation where we are going to start to do more and more on the ground coverage of uh, technology. Jeff, obviously OpenStack is in our wheelhouse. Uh, we've been to um, now three years of OpenStack events. Um, we got this thing covered like a blanket. We'll be shooting tons of updates, videos, blog posts, crowd chats, um, and uh, we're, you know, we're, we're becoming a, a staple <laughs> at OpenStack. What you, what's your thoughts on I this? I think it was our first uh, gig that we did together, John, was OpenStack in, in Portland a couple summers ago. And the OpenStack Foundation, and, and I think for good reason, has chosen to take the, uh, to take the show on the road. We did Atlanta this year. We've done OpenStack Enterprise Forum here at the uh, Computer History Museum earlier this year. But, but the fact of the matter is that a lot of the OpenStack companies are here in the Valley and uh, the community, really led by Mirantis and some of the other community members, decided that you know, while it's good that the OpenStack show moves around and, and gets some exposure, we still need to keep a foundation here, and so they've launched this event right in our backyard, Computer History Museum, to really bring the local players in and keep the mojo going here in the valley on the top, uh, the top issues, the top topics. Yeah, the key, the key story here is Silicon Valley demand for OpenStack conversations, OpenStack content, and also the growth of the community is really at an all-time high. It's really busting out at the seams. That's the big story. They can't wait until Paris. Obviously, that's in their next event. It's international. They tend to have a fall off on the international side in terms of attendance, mainly because of the international travel and the previous event was in Singapore. But really, the big deal is this. Open source is exploding. If you look at the numbers of venture capital investments in startups that are open source based, it just always hits a new high and never dips down. It's always like going up. So the question is, are we in that hockey stick moment for open source? I think it is. I think we're at that inflection point. The OpenStack Foundation and the community are growing. Open, open source is growing. The startups are growing. But the big companies are here. And that is really the big story. HP is all in on OpenStack. Mirantis, a leader in deploying OpenStack, I call the, you know, the truck that backs up to the enterprise and drops off all these solutions. Been very successful, but we still haven't seen the breakout uh, moves yet in OpenStack, but clearly HP's CTO, Martin Fink, announced just last week the acquisition of Eucalyptus, Martin Mikos, a CUBE alumni, Jeff. That's the big story here. He's up on stage in keynote saying, we're here to serve customers, not just please customers. Clearly, he has mojo, he has credibility in the community. Going back to the LAMP stack days of Linux, you saw MySQL, he sold that company to Oracle for billions. He's been an angel investor, and he's been slogging it with Eucalyptus. Really haven't hit their mark, but what they did do is they pioneered the open private cloud, they pioneered open source, and they built an AWS compatibility piece of it, and that will be a key linchpin. And more importantly, we'll be interviewing Martin shortly, um, and the key is he is reporting directly to the CEO of HP, Meg Whitman. So this certainly is going to be a big ripple in the ecosystem for OpenStack and certainly will set the agenda for our conversations and the folks we talk to. Yeah, you know, the, the cloud action just continues to heat up, John, like you said. We last interviewed Martin at uh, AWS reInvent, which we'll be at in, in a couple months, and if you recall, Martin had the data center in a backpack, I think, when he, when he came on theCUBE, one of the better, uh, the better props we've ever had on, but that was an exciting announcement. Obviously, we were just at VMworld a few weeks back, and a lot going on there with, with hybrid cloud. Um, and then we're seeing more and more uh, of Google at some of these events, John. They're really making their play for their enterprise cloud offering as well. So a lot of people going after you know, the clear lead that I think Amazon has on the public cloud side with some of the private clouds and the hybrid clouds. And as you said, uh, HP is all in. Big announcement with Eucalyptus and Martin, I believe is now GM. Uh, of HP Cloud or HP Helion, so look forward to getting him on and really kind of getting an update, because I think this will be, I think it was announced last week, right? So this will be relatively new information for, 
for our audience. Certainly, we will be constantly be pounding the pavement here and pounding our guests with great questions around where the progress is, where's the sizzle and the steak. We've heard sizzle for many years. Now we want to see the steak. We want to see that meat on the bone. But more importantly, we really want to see the, the, the answer to Amazon. We've been hearing all about Docker. We're at VMware. As uh, event at VMworld, we heard the container technology is really driving app development. So OpenStack needs to have a breakout moment. It needs to have forward progress that continues to get the momentum. We're going to look for that. And Jeff, more importantly, we want to hear about how the counter is to Amazon. And Amazon Web Services continues to innovate, and they continue to drive this cost model and keep lowering costs. Their business model is very much large scale, uh, critical mass, and you're seeing Amazon just continue to deploy lower costs. So they're not raising prices, they're actually dropping prices and increasing functionality. That is a commoditization to the cloud at the same time while providing innovation. That is the magic formula of the cloud. This is the trend, and let's just see how OpenStack can respond to this, because this will be the ultimate test for the, for the Amazon answer in the OpenStack community. Can they drive lower costs? Can they provide the economics? Can they provide the enabling platform? To me, this is the things that we will be watching. Yeah, we'd like to invite you to jump in as well. We do have a crowd chat open here. It's uh, crowdchat.net, hashtag uh, OpenStackSV. That's also the hashtag here for the event, OpenStackSV. So uh, chime in. We want to hear what you have to say. If you have any questions for any of the guests that you'd like to get through to us, go ahead and send them in, and uh, we'll try to get them in there. So uh, we're looking forward to a great day. We've got a fully packed schedule. I see our first guest in the wings there, John, so yeah. I think it's time to sign off on our open. Okay, we are here live in Silicon Valley to really address the demand of OpenStack. Hot news, we're going to have Martin Mikos, the new Senior Vice President and General Manager of HP Cloud, reports to Meg Whitman, he's going to be on theCUBE, friend of theCUBE, tech athlete, um, really a great guy. We're looking forward to hearing conversations. Of course, he's going to give us the disclosure of, it hasn't been officially closed yet, so I really can't speak for HP, <laughs> so I guess we'll talk about the backpack and uh, how things are going with Martin. We'll be right back, stay tuned. We're here all day with wall-to-wall -wall coverage. This is theCUBE, live in Silicon Valley. We'll be right back.